So we're finally ready to start drawing. Hopefully you got moved to center working. And now we're gonna look at draw. So I've already moved my comment down and draw is an error because it doesn't have a draw method. Piece has no draw method. So again, I recommend you go create method right there. It's gonna look basically like this, the one that's created, except it won't have anything inside. It'll just have that exception. So you wanna delete that exception out of there. And obviously we need to draw. I set the color first because I wanted to make sure I had a color that was not the same as the background. You can go back in your main somewhere, create drawing panel. I did, I actually did a race here instead of setting a background. And then I used the background color, which somewhere control B will take me to the definition. So I just did 50, 50, 50, which is a very light gray, zero, zero, zero would be, or it's actually very dark gray, zero, zero, zero be all the way black. So this has a little bit of color in it. All right, so I just set the color to white, which would be 255, 255, 255. Now, all I did here is I drew a really, really small oval. It's only width two, height two. And notice how I offset it. And when I hit play, here you go, you'll see it's right in the center and it should be two pixels. We're zooming 2x on this, so keep that in mind. And you do have to close this now uh, or else it won't stop running. So you do have to draw a larger oval uh, and you do need to do it on top. The reason I want this oval right here, and let me go ahead and open up the final version of this because you're ready to look at that now. So notice there's a dot in the middle and that black dot, which I drew in white, that black dot should never leave the screen. So you'll see when it travels around the border, uh oh, I need to expand this a little bit. Uh, resizing this window doesn't work well, but it should never, that center point should never leave the screen and it just circles faster and faster and faster. And we'll cover that in a little bit. Uh, but that little dot in the center is what I did here in white. Now, of course you can do color dot black, but then you better change your background color to be something much, much brighter. So this is how you draw. Now what I did with the graphics object, I decided to pass it in when I actually call the draw. And we'll look at, I think that's the complete one. Uh-oh. No, that one. All right, somewhere around here. Oh my goodness, way too many files. Here we are. All right, this is where we left off. So p.draw, if you notice, we send in the graphics object. The reason I decided to do this instead of access the graphics object uh, is just so each, and just in case in the future you had different windows at, and you had different graphics object for each window you had open, uh, I just decided to pass it in here, but again, uh, it'll automatically generate that method for you. And then I just do a sleep and then this is the clear and erase the panel. And you do need a set color. So let's talk about this. Of course, you won't notice the set color until you uh, actually draw it on the screen. So we need to actually have a color. So let's go and look how we would do that. So instead of having color dot white, I could just do um, we'll call this inside color. And of course, inside color doesn't exist. So if I check the error, you can create a local variable. Now local will be inside the method. But what I want is the variable up here. So that's called the field because it's outside of all the methods. So create a field, there we go. So we got an inside color. Um, we do need to initialize this. Uh, well, we can try without it, but here we go. Somewhere in here, error, we better zoom this out. Error, cannot find symbol. All right, so let's 
let's go equals and I did copy color dot white before although I don't think that's the error oh yeah we don't have a set color method that's the problem all right let's do this from scratch all right so set color and it's supposed to take a color so let's see we're gonna model it after this here so it needs to be set color it needs to take a color I'm gonna call it new color, just like we're calling new X, new Y, new speed, we'll call this new color. Okay, let's see. Oh. Let's duplicate that. I actually need two colors. There's an inside color and then a main color. Uh, let's do something cool with this. Actually, let's not. Oh, some of these are so ugly. <laughs> They're all so bad. Whatever, yellow, fine. Uh, we're gonna set it anyways. So in set color, we're gonna take whatever this value is and we're gonna replace it right there. Now, you saw the way this looks. It's two, it's a bigger circle and a smaller circle. So you do need to draw two circles. So I would just duplicate this. And I'll just go with 2020. I think that's probably too big. There we go. It's also not centered. So you're going to need to deal with that. But here's the draw. It's obviously not correct, but I do not want to correct it. Um, and we have a set color. So this should get down to here. And Next, we'll look at how to advance the code to here, how to get rid of that error, because we don't have a move to random location yet, but we will. 